Hi guys. Hi, hi. I am Dev from Home Cooking with Dev. Today I am doing fried karaili. Um, so I made a little boo boo in that when I purchased the karaili, I cut it up. What you have to do is cut it up and um, I sprinkled salt on it and um, it generated um, uh, water. So you had to squeeze that water so i squeezed that water out and, and all of that and then i put it in a ziploc bag and i and i froze it now uh, what i did not do was or what i didn't think of is that then it's going to get icy so um i had to do over the whole process without putting more salt i had to squeeze it out again to, to get that water that excess water out so um we're doing it in the air fryer today <clears throat> we're doing it in the air fryer today so let's see how that Goes. So I'm putting little bits in a dishcloth here and I am going to squeeze. I don't have much strength but um, I want to squeeze as much as I can out and whatever is remaining would be absorbed in the cloth. I'm hoping that this works. Again if anybody, you all know my story, if anybody has a better um, idea just let me know. And also, if you can tell me how long it stays um, in the refrigerator after you peel it and, and cut it. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do is I have my ladle here I am going to put this on I am going to put in a small pimento some um, onion and about two cloves of garlic that I grated into this and I'm going to heat that up first now I'm trying not to use too much oil but I'm not sure how this will um, thing. bear in mind it will go in the air fryer after so if it's not properly cooked, it shouldn't matter. Hopefully, it shouldn't matter. Um, this is a different way I'm doing it. Normally, I just mix everything in the karaili and I throw it into the um, air fryer. But I just wanted to fry up this first to kind of get the, the aroma there now. So... Okay, so I'm going to add my karaili into my air fryer and then we'll put it in to see what happens. Okay. Putting that in. I'll put it for like five minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For five, no, that's about eight minutes. And then we'll check it and see what, um, we'll turn it and see how it looks. So this is what this is what it looks like after um, the eight minutes. It you see it has started to dry down and change a little color. So we'll put it back for say the next eight minutes. I'll keep checking it every eight minutes. I'll put it for ten minutes and see. So that's 18 minutes in total that we will have to pour in there. We'll see what it looks like after. Okay, so it just went off again. So, okay. So it is dry. Um, I'll put it back for two minutes. And see, because we still have a few that looking green, but... I don't mind those, you know, I really don't. Um, I don't want it to get too, 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 I mean, I like it crispy, but at the same time, you know, so I'll just put it back for two minutes. And, um, and, that, and that's it, I, I'll, I'll, I'll stop it after that. All right, so let's open it and see what we have here. Good. That's what I want. 
That's exactly what I want. So, it's crunchy. It'll, it'll go nice with the dal, because I made dal as well. So, so I'm going to empty that and I'll let you know how it is for lunch. So guys, this is our finished product. It's dry, it's not, you know, when you're frightened the oil, it has that oil, it is absorbed, the oil is absorbed into it. Um, this is not like that, but you know, for a healthier option, you have this um, choice. Um, I prefer it like this, as opposed to frying it in the oil. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to dig into my rice dal and karaili. Sean already commented on it, I wouldn't tell you what he said. but it's kind of I don't know maybe because it wasn't fried in the oil it's kind of hard chewy kind of way um, so yeah so that's it but <laughs> it's still lunch <laughs> then Tell us about your rice and dal and for Riley. It's um, kind of hard to chew. I mean, it tastes all right, but it's just, you know, a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> dal and rice was the bomb. Hey, dal and rice was nice.